welcome to today's class. For today, we're looking at the multiplication of vectors. Now, we've looked at um, what a vector is, we've looked at addition and subtraction of vectors. For today, we're looking at the multiplication of vectors. Um, first things first, vectors can be multiplied in two ways. The first one is called the scalar or the dot product of vectors. First one is scalar. Also called dot product of vectors. The second one is called the vector or the cross product of vectors. So these are like the two ways in which um, vectors can multiply. Either by scalar or dot product or vector or cross product. For class to be looking at just the scalar or the dot product, make some inferences and solve as many problems as we can. Let's start with the first one there. Scalar. Or dot product. So, given two vectors, A being equal to AXI plus AYK plus AZK and B being equal to BXI plus BYK plus BZK. Then we have that. The dot product of A and B is given by A dot B. So this is the dot product of this area of the vectors A dot B. And mathematically, A dot B is simply equal to AX BX plus AY B1 plus AZ BZ. So this is it. This is the dot product of the vector. We look at the proof of this. Let's um, prove this. So proof. Let's prove this formula. Um, to prove this formula, there's something you need to know, and that's the fact that i dot i is equal to j dot j is equal to k dot k, and that's equal to. One. Please, this is the identity you need in proving this formula. That i dot i equal to j dot j equal to k dot k, and that's equal to one. All right. So let's prove this. Let's see a dot b. So, um, in a more complex sense, a dot b will be equal to a x i plus a y j. Plus A Z K dot B X I plus B Y K plus B Z K. Now we said I dot I equal to J dot J equal to K dot K equal to one. All other thing is equal to zero. Please. All other thing equals zero. So if I should multiply this, having use everything here to multiply this. So I'm having AX times BX. So first one, this is equal to AX BX. I'm left with I dot I. So I'm having I dot I plus AX I plus AX star I multiply BY to give you AX BY. So AX BY I dot J. So I dot J plus AX BZ. So AX BZ into I dot K. So I dot K. I'm done with AX. Come to AY. So plus I'm having AY BX. 
ay bx into j dot i j dot i ay by I have ay by j dot j so j dot j plus ay bz j dot k so ay bz j dot k finally i have plus az 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 bx so az bx i have k dot i k dot i plus I have A Z B Y K dot J A Z B Y K dot J plus finally A Z B Z K dot K so A Z B Z K dot K Alright, let's bring in our condition. If you bring in our condition, we said i dot i is equal to 1. So this gives you 1. So automatically it's not i dot i or j dot j or k dot k becomes automatically 0. For instance, this one here gives you 0. This one here gives you 0. This one here gives you 0. This is j dot j, which you say is equal to 1. So it stays. This one gives you 0. This one gives 0. This one here gives 0. k dot k, we set this equal to 1. So I'm having this. So this now becomes ax bx into i dot i, which is 1, plus, plus um, so this one is 0, it's off. This is 0, it's off. This is 0, so this time 0 is 0, it's off. So plus ay by y, so ay by y times 1 j dot j, we set this equal to 1, plus this is this times 0, 0 is off, this times 0, 0 is off, this times 0, 0 is off, find the half az bz into k dot k, k dot k is set is equal to 1. So if I multiply this now, it means that a dot b. So a dot b is now equal to I have a x b x times one, which is a x b x plus a y b y times one is a y b y plus a z b z times one is a z b z. So this proves that this uh, formula. Is correct. So this is how we prove this formula. Let's look at one more thing and then we can proceed to solving questions. Alright, so let's now look at um, the dot product of vectors in terms of an angle. Alright, given two vectors A and D. A and B, so vector A and vector B, uh, their dot product can also be expressed as A dot B being equal to magnitude of vector A multiplying magnitude of vector B, then called theta. Alright, so this is another expression for dot product. We discussed magnitude in the last class. For this one here, this formula can be used to find the angle between two vectors. Alright? From here, if I'm to make cos theta subject of the formula, I will just divide this by magnitude of vector A and magnitude of vector B, such that this cancels this, of course, divide here two by magnitude of vector A and magnitude of vector B. So if this passes this, I have that cos theta is equal to A dot B 
all over magnitude of A dot magnitude of V. Such that from here, if I'm going to get theta, theta will be equal to the cosine inverse of A dot B all over magnitude of A times magnitude of B. So we have one of this. Alright, so we have this. Excuse me. We have this. Alright, let's take some sample problems and work them together. So example. Example number one. If A is equal to 3i plus 4j minus k and B is equal to 6i plus 2j plus 5k. Find A dot B and the angle and the angle between vector A and vector B. Alright, let's get this. So solution solution to this um, first of all let's get A dot B so A dot B will be equal to just simply multiply corresponding um, terms like the i's for i I have 3 and 6 so it becomes 3 times 6 plus for j I have 4 and 2 so it becomes 4 times 2 plus for k I have minus 1 times 5 so minus 1 times 5 so I have this so that means a dot b is equal to 3 times 6 is 18 plus 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1 minus 1 times 5 is minus 5. From here, it means that A dot B is equal to 18 plus 8 gives 26. 26 minus 5 gives 21. So A dot B is equal to 21. We are asked to find the angle between A and B. To find the angle between A and B, which is theta, I need three things. I need A dot B, which we've got in. I need magnitude of A. I also need magnitude of B. So let's get magnitude of A. To get magnitude of A, we said it's simply the square root of each of the terms squared. 3 squared plus 4 squared plus minus 1 all squared. This is equal to square root of 3 squared is 9 plus 4 squared is 16 plus minus 1 all squared means minus 1 times minus 1 which is 1. This is equal to 9 plus 16, 25 plus 1, 26. So square root of 26. So that, that's the magnitude of vector A. Let's get magnitude of vector B. Same idea because the square root of each of the ten square, 6 square plus 2 square plus 5 square. That's equal to square root of 6 square is 36 plus 2 square is 4 plus 5 square is 25. If I sum this up, I'm having this as being this to this 29. 29 plus this, that's 5 plus 65. It gives you root 65. Yes. So therefore, theta, the angle between the vectors theta is equal to Cos inverse of a dot b, we said it's 21, so 21 all over magnitude of a, which is root 26. 
So root 26 times max the b, which is root 65. So root 65, I have this. So you have this. So theta is equal to cos inverse of 21 all over. So I'll get the calculator and punch this value. So root 26 times root 65. This gives me about 41.1096. So I have this value. Alright. Um, so get this one here. Yeah? So that means that theta is equal to cos inverse of 21 all over 41 points. 1096 that gives me 0 0.5108 so therefore theta is equal to guess cos inverse so cos inverse of 0 0.5108 that gives me about 59.28 degrees so this becomes the angle between the vector a and B. So that's how you solve this question. So one last thing on this, you should notice this. If, if two vectors are perpendicular, it means that the angle between them is 90 degrees. And hence, if two vectors are perpendicular, it means that their dot product equals to zero. So I'll show you this. Um, when two things are perpendicular, just like this, the angle between them is 90 degrees. Now we just said A dot B is equal to magnitude of A multiplying magnitude of B then cos theta. We said for perpendicularity, theta is equal to 90 degrees in the perpendicular. So now have that A dot B is equal to magnitude of A multiplying magnitude of b cos theta is 90 degrees so it becomes cos 90 cos 90 gives you 0 so I'll have b equal to magnitude of a multiplying magnitude of b times 0 and this is equal to 0 so please take note that if two vectors are perpendicular that means their dot product as you can see is equal to zero. This condition we use in our solving much more later. So this is how um, dot product works.